The Popfly Game Creator enables you to create fun online games that you can share with your friends. In this video, I'll give you a quick tour of the workspace layout and I'll point out some useful features. If you want a 30 second overview, then here's all you really need to know. Games have one or more scenes, in which actors can be anything from scenery that stays put to sprites that can be controlled by using keyboard keys. You can test out your game at any time by pressing the play button. Help is available on the right side, including links to in-depth help at popflywiki.com. To create a brand new game, click Start from Scratch. You can also begin from one of the sample games and change it as you'd like. Now for a quick tour. There are four basic areas to help you create a game. Actor, Scene, Game, and Play. You can move between these areas in any order that you want. The first thing your game needs is an actor. In the Actors area, you can search for an actor to add to your game. When you select an actor from the search results, it is added to your game's list of actors. Once you have an actor, you can edit its characteristics. Click on it in the actor list to modify its appearance, properties, or its behaviors. Behaviors describe how the actor interacts with other actors in the game, or how someone playing your game can control the actor. You can also set the collision edge type and whether the actor is a solid, which means it can bump into things, or a non-solid, which means it's more like background scenery. The next area is the scenes area. By default, there are five scenes in a game. Intro, Main, One, Lost, and How to Play. You don't need to use all of these scenes in your game, but they are there to help you out. For example, the intro will show up when someone first plays your game, and the How to Play will be displayed when someone clicks on the instructions for your game. To add an actor to a scene, click on the actor you want to add in the left side actor pane. You can move it anywhere within the scene. In the scenes area, you can also add some music or a background for your game. Scenes have properties and behaviors. For example, you can have a scene behavior that switches the game to the won or lost scene when the score reaches a certain number. In the game area, you can upload files that your game references or set game level properties. Score is an example of a game level property. Finally, the play area allows you to test out your game. There are some debug options to help you out, a console, performance information, and collision edges that outline all of your actors. Don't forget to save your work. Once you have saved your game, you can share it by emailing a link to your friends, by placing it on your Facebook profile, and more.